LSU Ag Center County agents and Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry personnel are ready to respond to a potential outbreak of the disease citrus canker. Citrus canker affects all varieties of citrus and there are no measures that can prevent it. Raj Singh, an LSU Ag Center plant scientist, said the disease can infect all young parts of the plant. Anyone with a citrus tree needs to be aware of the symptoms. On the leaves, it produces the symptoms start as small raised blisters and that with time get bigger. Okay? And then uh, they have uh, water soaking surrounding around it, which is, which is surrounded by yellow halo. The lesions appear on both sides of the leaves. Similar lesions will also show up on the fruit and twigs, but without the yellow halo. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service will confirm any incidences of the disease. Commercial citrus growers and homeowners are strongly advised not to move or clip a sample from a tree suspected of having the disease. We want them to take pictures. We'll send those pictures in. We'll get it to where the USDA inspectors will come out and they'll inspect the tree to see if they actually have the disease. Citrus canker is caused by a bacterial pathogen and can move by wind or by materials infected with or exposed to the disease coming in contact with citrus plants. Singh said the disease does not affect the internal quality of the fruit, but a fruit with lesions on it is not marketable. Eventually, an infected tree will stop producing fruit. It doesn't kill the tree. Okay. But then it's the general decline of the tree. You got defoliation, you got twig dieback, and then the blemish fruit. Trees infected with citrus canker will be destroyed, and growers should wait two years before planting a citrus tree in that area. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.